Hello all and welcome to tonight's beer review. It's a bit later than my average beer review. Um, it's past 5 o'clock, which means the sun is already starting to set. Uh, you know, part of the reason why I live in subtropics is even even, even winter here, I, I can't really take it much anymore. I don't like the dark. <laughs> which is odd for somebody who's worked at graveyard shifts for, in, for so many years, but... I, I just don't like the dark. So, yeah. So, what are we reviewing today? And I'm really tired for some reason. I have no idea. I probably shouldn't even be doing the beer review. I mean, just go to sleep, you know what I mean? So, what am I reviewing? I am reviewing something from Maui Brewing. Maui Brewing. And, of course, my chickens want to come and come up and talk to me and come and wander around and everything. Now, as soon as I go and start the review, but she's not coming in. She's got sour crop, and she needs to take her medicine before she does that. And I don't want her getting that stinkiness inside here. Um, so, Maui Brewing. This is Lao Lima Belgian IPA, 7.1 ABV. Belgian-style India Pale Ale, brewed with candy sugar. Let's read the label, shall we? This is a collaboration, by the way. Hawaiian for many hands working together, Lao Lima represents the best from both Maui Brewing Company and Breakside Brewing with this collaborative India Pale Ale brewed with Belgian yeast and loads of nugget hops. Nugget, name of my chicken. One of them, anyway. The addition of Centennial, Amarillo, and Eldorado hops also provides plentiful aroma of resin, grapefruit, citrus, and stone fruit. And I already had a couple cans of this, and I can tell you one thing. I'm kind of over reviewing IPAs, really. So, before I get into that, let's just go into this, right? I'm going to let this warm up a little bit so it can properly give off a little bit more aroma. So, it's a nice clear. I'm going to take it to the white light here. Yellow to golden yellow with a thick, fluffy white head. Pretty good retention right there. About a finger's worth. Um, not much visual carbonation. Eh, just a, probably a slight haze to it, but otherwise mostly clear. Nose is of resinous hops. Root, pine needles, and also some herbaceousness. And underneath that is definitely a sweet, almost honeyed kind of malt notes. But other than that, not too much definition to it. Excuse me, I need to go and take in the chicken's food. There's wild birds coming and eating it all. can see wild birds. I ain't paying money for them to go and be eaten on my dime, that's for sure. So pretty nicely balanced. Um, you'll definitely want to let this one warm up a little bit. There's that foundation of, you know, that candied sugar there in the front, but there's really a lot of hops just kind of piled up on it. N really new world kind of hops. Uh, big resin. Some citrus zestiness, especially towards the finish and into the finish. Very resinous, almost like a tannic mouthfeel in the mid to finish. 
Lasting Resin Bitterness. And that's what gets me about this beer. And in general, the style. You know, I feel there's this great sort of Belgian beer that's just been drowned under a whole bunch of hops. You know what I mean? You can taste that sort of rock candy there. You can also taste what the, you know, that characteristic uh, Belgian yeast style there. And it just kind of peeks its little head out before it's just pummeled by loads and loads of New World style hopping. Um, and it's probably not even really loads and loads. It's, it's just that the Belgian style doesn't really stand up to heavy hopping too well, at least in my opinion. And I know that the Belgian IPA is a style that now exists, but... It's like, it, it's become like the, you know, the dark IPA. It's, it's just like, you're hopping things because you can hop them. And, uh, you know, that's not to say that this is a poorly made beer. It is a beer that is exactly what it says. It's a Belgian style IPA with loads of these New World hops loaded onto it. But what's the point of like putting in all this effort with the Belgian yeast and the rock candy, you know, and creating kind of like delicate sort of malt base that's just going to almost be overwhelmed and you'll just get little peaks of it here and there in between the hopping. You know, and that's an another thing too, that's almost resiny, tannic quality of High IPAs, it, it kind of destroys what I think is one of the nicest things about Belgians, that sort of soft, luscious mouthfeel that they can have at times when they're done right, really high quality Belgian ales. And it, I, 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 I don't know what to say. I'm probably at this point the wrong person to be reviewing it. And I'm probably not going to be reviewing any Belgian IPAs from henceforth in the same way that I don't review uh, Dark Stouts, really. I, I mean, I'll still drink them, just in case, you know, my palate changes, my taste changes, or, you know, I get something that really knocks it out of the park and shines a light on some aspect of it that I missed in the past. But in, until that time... I feel like I'm, I can't really give these beers a fair shake because I don't really enjoy the style all that much. And again, if you like IPAs and, you know, Belgian IPA is your thing, then certainly give this one a shot. It's prob I would think it's actually, by that standard, it's a pretty good I Belgian IPA. I don't know, I I'm getting burned out of IPAs in general. Still willing to go and give them a shot, especially um, for certain types, like rye IPAs. Um, and I don't know what else to say about it. So, Maui Brewings, Lao Lima Belgian. Well made beer. It's, it's just not a style that I enjoy drinking all that much. So take it for what it's worth. That's your beer review for tonight, folks. Your review for tonight, folks. Cheers.